Here's a fairly close to home hike into Pico Canyon in the Santa Clarita area. The hike begins at the end of Pico Canyon Road west of the 5 Freeway. And it's here we find the historic oil town of Mentryville. In fact, at one time it had over a hundred residents and even a school. The reason being was that oil had been discovered nearby. And this created this boom town back in the late 1870s. And yes, there's the little red one-room schoolhouse built as part of the town. This little schoolhouse was actually in operation until 1932 when there finally were not enough kids to go. Once past Mentryville, we started our way on up into the canyon on a somewhat murky day. And then suddenly we found that we were being watched. This deer really followed us along for a while, really very curious to see what we were up to. And then at half a mile or so up the trail, we ran into Johnson Park, located uh, along to the side. This park area was rather unkempt looking, but did have some features saluting the area's past. And then farther on up the trail, we ran across the location of Oil Well Pico Number 4. This was the first commercial oil well operating in the state of California. And it continued operating all the way to 1990. There are also some remnants of some of the old oil well operating machinery nearby. And then the trail leaves the canyon bottom and starts a quite relentless trek up into the mountains. But first we can look down and again see the location of Pico Number 4. And as we work our way up, we can stop for a minute and take a look at some of these Santa Susana Mountains. A couple of years ago this area was hit with a quite extensive brush fire, but it does seem to be recovering pretty well. And here we also find the remnants of an old oil tank left over from the oil producing days in this area. Not quite sure what stock tank means, however. And then up a little bit higher we can really start to see some of these mountains. We can also look down and see Pico Canyon down below. But then the road continues its rather steep climb up into the mountains. And as you can see, there's still quite a bit of mist and fog in the area, which does limit our view a little bit, which includes looking down towards Santa Clarita. Those are the San Gabriel Mountains way off in the distance. And then we reached what seemed to be the upper reaches of this area, so we stopped to have a little bite to eat. It's a little bit clearer looking off in the opposite direction, but overall a, a pretty good day for a hike. We even spotted a few wildflowers popping up here and there. But then it was about time to start back down the mountain, where you can see our trail down below. 
with a total hike of a little over 7 miles and a 1,200 foot elevation gain.